Hello, everybody! So, today, I am making another scenario video, which is Godzilla vs. Kong, Act 1. Act 2 will be released either later today or tomorrow. So... So... Alright, so let's get started. As Alan Jonas said once... So the movie starts off with the Warner Brothers logos and the Warner Brothers and legendary logos on cave paintings, which are being glitched out, as we saw in the trailer and TV spots, which then we see Kong asleep on Skull Island, and then we cut to Isla de Mara. Which we see Ghidorah doing his alpha call from different angles. The back and sides respectively. We even see Rodan fly in for a second. Which then it shows different titans waking up. Like for example Tiamat, Sekhmet, maybe Methuselah again. Yeah. Typhon. Then it cuts to Skull Island where Kong wakes up due to the alpha call. He wonders what it is. But then he realizes it's just another stupid alpha call. But then all the other titans on the island start waking up. I know, I know, they're not really considered titans, but now they're big enough to be titans. The skull crawlers are big enough to be titans. So. Godzilla, I mean, Kong wakes up and starts fighting all these skull crawlers. Some of the monsters on the island start causing forest fires, floods, etc. Earthquakes, uh, avalanches, okay, not avalanches, uh, rock slides. So, after that, we see Kong waking up. Well, Kong's already awake, he's fighting the monsters. And Kong is attacking all the monsters, which then a flying rock knocks Kong out. And he sees all, most of the monsters leaving, but then he, he doesn't get knocked out for a bit. He gets up into the hollow earth and chases them through the hollow earth. Which then after he roars furiously, it cuts to the present day. Where Gia is, sta is running through the forest looking for Kong. Which then it shows Kong waking up. And yawning. And then... Kong wakes up. And... He gets up and accept G and accepts G Gia's doll as an offering. So... Yeah. And Eileen Andrews is in the forest too and she comes out to reveal herself. And Kong just kind of looks at her strangely and doesn't comment. Like, roaring or something. But then... Gia and Kong have a small conversation. Which then Kong rips a tree out of its sockets and... And rips all the branches off and throws the tree at the sun. Gia and Eileen Andrews look at each other nervously as... As it makes contact with the, with the building... Which then Kong roars and runs away. But as he runs away, he's a couple he's a couple hundred feet away. Well maybe five hundred feet away when he when he gets knocked out. Well he falls backwards and he blinks a bit and then he realizes he's inside of a building. And so he he grabs the near and he well no. He looks it all around him and he sees a fake Skull Island. There are grass everywhere and trees. But, and then he looks at the tree that's stuck in the wall. And yeah, it's a, it's a building. And so then Kong roars and starts grabbing trees and throwing them. And he starts punching, trying to get out. He punches the walls. And then he starts getting into a fight with, with tanks. Which then, the presence of Gia calms him down. And she says, 
And and she says in sign language, it's okay. You'll be out of here soon. Which then that relieves Kong. And, 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 and then Eileen Andrews comes through the door and, so, and so, says to Gia through sign language, Good job. And then Nathan Lynn comes through, comes through the door and starts talking to Eileen Andrews. And then... And then Eileen Andrews says, But what monster are we going to have to use to defend humanity from Godzilla? And Nathan Lynn replies, Well... Why use any other Titan when we could use this one that uh, that is right outside? And as he's talking, we see Kong glare at a v- glare at a tank who's about to shoot at him, and then look back at the window. And then and then aircraft comes through the ceiling, and they put a collar on him, which Kong tries to break, but then they tranquilize him, and then they tranquilize him, and they put him on a rope. Well, they put him on a giant uh, net, and then they airlift him, which then they drop him, and Kong wakes up, and he sees all the other aircraft, all the aircraft carriers outside Antarctica. So, so Kong gets on the aircraft carrier one of the aircraft carriers and they tie him down which then as Kong's about to break one of his things they tranquilize him again and tighten the restraints and then they have a bunch of unnecessary human talking which then Gia puts her hand up to the wall and senses Kong Kong's up he's, un- he's not tranquilized anymore and he's very angry. So she goes out there to calm him down. She walks out there in rain and pouring rain to calm him down. Eileen Andrews signs to Gia to come over. And when she doesn't, she gets worried. So she turns around and, and notices that Gia's outside with Kong. They all run up to the doorway to see Kong and Gia touching fingers. And so, it is the next day. Kong has still been tranquilized because they were tranquilizing him all night. And so, Godzilla, and we get our first scene of Godzilla. Outside of all the tapes that we saw during the night scene where she calms Kong down. We see Godzilla emer- emerging at Pensacola. He swats a jet out of the sky and then gets up at a nuclear refinery. Well, no, an apex refinery. Where he dis- decimates the entire thing. So Ren- And then Ren Serizawa gets into a helicopter and goes to another one. Which is in Hawaii. So. Godzilla finishes burning this and he leaves. And then. Out in the Atlantic Ocean. The radar sense Godzilla's coming. And so does Kong. Kong senses that Godzilla's here somewhere. So. Kong tries to get up. But they've trank- but they've got his restraints on full, so he can't get up. And they also tranquilize him again. But they also loosen their restraints so that it'd be easier to get out in case Godzilla tries something. But then Godzilla comes through. We see God the first time God the first thing Godzilla does is destroys a boat by using his dorsal spines as a weapon. And so, yeah. Kong wakes up after this, after hearing this, and he roars at the water, which then Godzilla gets shot at by missiles, and he gets hurt by it. 
sort of, he kind of just feels it. And then he gets, the jet that shot him gets the tail whipped out of the sky and he sinks some boats. One of those anchors gets stuck to his tail. And, and he swims over to Kong, which is trying to get his restraints off. But then Godzilla symbolizes to Kong that he's coming by throwing the boat above the water. And then Kong... Kong gets... Kong turns around and roars at the water as Godzilla leaps up from the, from the depths. And sinks Kong's boat and almost drowns Kong. But he breaks out of his restraints just in the nick of time. Kong gets on top of his boat... And on top of his sinking boat to see where where he should go. And he sees there's a clear line to the aircraft carrier. And then Godzilla nudges the bottom. Just trying to sink the boat faster. So Kong jumps from boat to boat over to the giant aircraft carrier. And then Godzilla swims over there and... Oh, dang it. I forgot. Kong breaks his restraint on his neck. His tranquilizer collar thing. And he gets up. And then Godzilla jumps up out of the water and gets on top of the carrier. And I don't think I need to explain this part. Godzilla, we've all seen the iconic punching Godzilla slap scene. But, and so Godzilla gets knocked into the water again. And then Godzilla heads over to to the one to the boat that Kong last saw Gia on and he sinks that. And Kong gets very worried. So he grabs the deck of the aircraft carrier and and stabs Godzilla with it in the water. But then Godzilla shoots atomic breath at the boat and Kong somehow knows to get off the boat. Which then, they have a battle in the water. A quick battle, and then Kong disappears under the waves. And that's the end of Act 1. Hope you enjoyed. Act 2 should be out tomorrow or later today.